Are we actually recording? Is the red light on? Is Buenos Aires going to enter into immortality? There's three things usually that I find are most, you know, the burning questions that most people have, young musicians, is, you know, one is, how do I make it in this business? How do I make a record, get it out there, and, you know, get people to hear it and get, become successful? I think the first thing is we need to identify with what it is that we really want. Because whatever it is you really want, that's what's, that's what's going to come out. thing that you're most comfortable with that you do the best because that's what you're going to do the best you know from like me I've got strengths and I've got weaknesses I don't work on my weaknesses I ignore them and I cultivate my strengths the level of achievement that we have at anything is a reflection of how well we were able to focus on it because the only thing that's holding you back is the way you're thinking Pick a song in your head that you'd like to be able to play. Something that's within your reach. Imagine right now that song. Picture yourself playing it. That's the first part of the exercise in achieving it. Now, as you're picturing yourself playing it, imagine what it sounds like perfectly. See and hear yourself playing it elegantly, beautifully, whether it's an aggressive metal track, whatever it is, but see yourself playing it from beginning to end perfectly with confidence. The more you're able to crystallize that vision, the more you're gonna, you're gonna become a self-fulfilled prophecy. Let's talk about practice, and let's talk about spending time to reach your goal. Because I know the complaint. We have obligations in life, we have responsibilities, we have so many other things we have to do. How do we find time to play the instrument? I recommend that you pick a time that's yours. A time where you shut off the cell phone, shut off the telephone, turn off the internet, and, uh, and sit and focus on your goal. Whenever you get discouraged, go to the big picture. Go back to that place of excitement. That's how you get through it. You go to the big picture. You go to the chief aim. Because it's so crystallized in your head that when you know, when you feel like, I, I can't do this, you know, you go back to that picture and you can see yourself doing it. It's no work. There's no work involved. Because it's all a joy. Because you know you're reaching your goal. You know what I'm saying? I never worked a day in my life in this business. I mean, with the guitar. I never struggled. 
honestly, I've had a lot of challenges. I've had to, you know, I've been through a lot. But when it came to my feelings about what I do and my success, so to speak, never struggled a day in my life. Because for me, playing the guitar was my juice. So you break it down piece by piece by piece. And if it's a classical song, say, you go one bar at a time, then you go to the next bar, then you go to the next bar. Eventually, you'll be able to play through this piece of music. You won't play it great, but you'll be able to play through it. That's when you gotta stick at it, stick at it, and keep playing it. Because at first, it's getting your fingers in shape. It's getting all that. But then, once you own this piece of music, then it flows. Then, then it's like this whole other thing comes over you. It's this ability to become the music.